246 Jerome Avenue, Oakhurst. Um, I really wasn't planning to come up, but um, I decided. You raised it a little bit. I'm sorry. Thank you. I decided just to ask one question. Um, has Long Branch ever looked into having a civilian review board um, or a you know committee of you know citizens? Uh, I know the public safety director position is supposed to be a civilian position, correct? So, um, if there is no public safety director, uh, is there you know some sort of a go-between um, committee or group of people or a person that um, you know has that ever been looked into? Or potential to be. Patty, I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? Are you asking? I, I'm basically asking, has Long Branch or this administration ever thought to have a civilian review board to overlook the police department, fire department, the council, or perhaps the other departments, you know, just uh, with as far, some... As far as I know, as long as I've been on council, we have not. Okay. But that type of activity or knowledge would be something that the public safety director would be doing, correct? Which now there's no longer that position. Yeah, I think it's different. I, I it's think different? It's, yeah. Okay. I think okay. And uh, the other quick question, I guess, comment is the algae attack in Takanasi Lake. Um, Stan told me earlier is going to be taken a look at. Um, and uh, is there any funds available if the lake were to be needing of dredging? Or where would that, is there grants? Is there some way that, if that were to be the problem? Fun, fun, I'm, you know, Patty, I apologize. I'm not would there be funds if the lake eventually needed to be dredged? If that was the cause? Well, we're, we're, you know, we have met with the county a couple of times. Mm -hmm. uh, it's certainly something that we, you know, would like to see happen. Uh, I don't know, George, you want to comment? You have the conversations more than this. Yes, uh, we've had discussions, uh, as the mayor said, with the county. Uh, our city engineer has been doing some research. We're getting some preliminary costs. We do want to move ahead and continue the dredging that was done previously. Um, we haven't put our capital budget together yet. We've had some preliminary estimates, and by fact, we're looking at basically a two-phase process because the dredge spoils will have to dry. They'll have to sit for some time. So we're hoping we we'll split the costs over two different capital budgets. So we are looking at that as we put our capital budget together. And we're not sure of the amount because apparently, again, this gets very technical. Stan, maybe you can chime in too, but there's, you know, there needs to be some testing done on what's being dredged and what we can do with that material and so forth. And depending on the outcome of those tests, Stan, I don't know, might. Correct. Correct. We don't, once we do the test, then we'll find out uh, where we're going and what the cost would be. So we're trying to find out as much as we can before we make any plans. Yeah, and present it to council to see what the situation is. Patty, I can tell you real fast. Uh, yeah. As far as the algae, we are going to address that this morning. Tomorrow morning, pick up all the loose and hydraulics. Mr. Jackson, they gave me that number. I'm meeting with him tomorrow morning down there at 9 o'clock to, to see what plan of action to take uh, okay. to rectify that as soon as possible. And that's Princeton Hydraulics? Correct. I don't know, Mr. Sell, do you have anything to add on that? Were you part of those I was part of those discussions. I'll echo like the same thing Stan just said. There's some tests that need to take place to the device Okay. And um, I guess one other point I'd like to make um, when Mr. Mignoli was talking about um, you know, the, the parking and not being aware of the ordinance and so forth. I actually had a chance to look at that pamphlet, I guess, for lack of better words. Um, and I found it very hard to understand what were the actual changes that were occurring. So unless you knew that street's particulars, uh, is there a spot in there? Like if you wanted just to zoom in and see, well, what's being done on so-and-so street? Is that the one on? Is it like user-friendly? Is there a user or user-friendly?
Can you ask him about the street parking? Well, the parking and... Yeah. 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 I think the, the answer is, uh, and I apologize that it wasn't in, in our, I didn't have it in our packet or I would have told you that. But the clerk's office has the edited one, so you can take a look at it in like a red line version and show you every change. Okay. So as, as a citizen, that would be the only way for us to go see exactly what changes were actually made? Um, Yes, and, and as a matter of fact, when I looked at it, um, my suggestion to the clerk's office would be to include that in our, it was included on, you know, it was in my packet in the first reading, uh -huh. but it, it, so you, you, you might have seen it then, but if not, it should be included in the second one, so, the, and I agree with you, the red line version should be in there so that you can see, you know, sometimes changes? you have an ordinance that's 20 pages long and they only change five words, Yeah. You, without doing a compare, you, you know, exactly. In the future, we'll, yeah. we'll, that's a good suggestion, though. Right. I, I agree with you. We'll, right. we'll do that. But you can, in this circumstance, you can take a look at the clerk's office. Okay. Thank you very much. You're